CBS 2's Randy Page is in Pacoima, where local search and rescue teams are heading out to help. But we begin with our Juan Fernandez, who is in Mexico City, where rescue teams are busy looking for people. Juan. Well, Pat and Rick, as you said, indeed it is a race against time. Two things that are quickly changing here. We just had some rain in the area, and also it's 7 p.m. Mexico City time, so the sun is quickly starting to set. But still, the volunteers out here, they're not going anywhere. In fact, they're still showing up here at this scene. Take a look behind me here. They're joined by military police. They're also joined by local police. And the focus right now is on that building you see right there that crumbled during yesterday's 7.1 quake. As you mentioned, it has now been more than 24 hours. This is a six-story office building. Building. We understand there were 50 people inside. I'm told at least half of them made it out, so that's some good news. And just a short time ago, one of the officers out here told me they believe three more people are inside alive. They're using special equipment, and as you said, when that fist goes up and everybody becomes quiet, they're listening to that special equipment. They're listening for pings coming from under the rubble, and they believe that three people are still inside. Sadly, I'm also being told there may be eight bodies still inside this building. So something very, very sad, very grim. But again, the volunteers here, they are energized by helping their community as well as the police. Police who have been out here since 6 a.m. They say they're not going to go home till a little bit later tonight. Also, citywide, 50 people have been pulled out of the rubble. So that is definitely some good news that I want to share with you. And they're still hoping that that number is going to increase. But as you said, the death toll here in Mexico City continues to rise. And again, the focus right now is on that building behind me. Well, Juan, so gripping and emotional. Now, you arrived there this morning. What did you see as you came in and made your way to the city? Well, Pat, we took a overnight flight from LAX into Mexico City. With the time change, we made it here right around 6 a.m. The sunrise isn't until after 7 a.m., so it looked very quiet. And from our ride from the airport to our hotel, everything looked normal like any other city. And it wasn't until we started looking around today, we asked the folks at the hotel where was the nearest damage, and sadly, it wasn't too far from our hotel. And in fact, this isn't uh, one of the only spots. Different spots around the city are just like this. And here, one of the ambulances are leaving here. They have ambulances waiting at the ready just in case one of those three pings that I was telling you about turns out to be somebody who is alive. Yeah, Juan, that is just one part of the city. Do you have any idea what's going on elsewhere? Yeah, let me show you some video. We shot this earlier today. This is one of those spots not far from our hotel. It was unbelievable. Volunteers showing up from all over the place, young people, students telling us that schools have been canceled in the area. Of course, Mexico is in three days of mourning right now. So there's a lot of people with a lot of time off, lucky enough to not be affected uh, by this earthquake. And what they did was they came down armed with shovels they have at home, armed with picks and armed with different sort of uh, uh, equipment, put on their yellow vest and they presented themselves to authorities here saying, what do you need? I'm here to help. And also we heard over a bullhorn, they need everything. They need water, they need sheets, they need blankets, they need flashlights, especially now that the sun is setting and things are gonna get a little darker. They're afraid in case power does go out, they wanna have the power and the ability to continue searching. But as you see behind me here, they are gonna have some lights set up. Nobody's going anywhere here. This is one of the more intense searches going on right now in Mexico City. All right, Juan Fernandez reporting live from Mexico City. Thanks so much, Juan. We'll talk to you a bit later.